Well, alrighty. Here we are. Uh, <clears throat> I got fooling with this thing. <clears throat> and that's a new center, by the way. That's oil pressure. Look at that. Uh, I don't know what happened to it, but I gotta get another one. And this is just actually <laughs> what needs to be changed. Huh. And here's what it originally looks like, but uh, that's the old one. I gotta put the old one back in there. Uh, test it and see if I've got oil pressure because when I got fooling with it and just undid the wire, that thing just slid right off. So that was a problem. <clears throat> that means I got to take all this off, all this off, to get down into there, and I probably had to pull that alternator out to just to get to that dead gum sensor. You can't get it from the bottom, and you can't get it from the side. I mean, if I had a socket, yeah, okay, maybe, which I might look through there and see if I got a socket. But I'm doubting very seriously that I got a. Uh, 30 or 28 or 29 millimeter socket to fit that right there. Uh, so I doubt it very seriously. All right, so uh, that's the project. And then bleed out the fuel rail some more. I haven't done that yet, but once you just crank right up, rattles a little bit, but that could be because uh, I need to get another intake air uh mixture thing and while i'm at it i'll probably go ahead and get a throttle positioner for it you know and they make several different ones you have to watch these dadgum pins see that's what my type is and uh because you can get huh, autozone the cheapest one they got is 80 dollars for the ia uh, and uh ebay i can get it for uh, eight dollars up to a hundred and something because the next one in AutoZone is a hundred and forty bucks. Well, like, damn. So I'm willing to try them cheap ones first. <laughs> and then we'll go look at that thing in a minute. I'll make a video of it. That was yesterday's prize. <clears throat> Other than that, I have everything on this thing just like put together like it's supposed to be exactly like it's supposed to be and I finally got the clutch bled some not completely it's going to take two of us unless I spend thirty dollars and get one of them vacuum pumps and do it by hand from the top here well I got that damn brake fluid everywhere uh, everywhere this one takes dot three and some of the other guys that's working on their vehicle says theirs takes dot four, but that cover says dot three on it. And that's brake fluid, you know. <clears throat> so, uh, project for today is is to get that oil sending unit and put it on back on here, and then we'll recheck everything, take this all off, go through that process, and, and just check, make sure I got oil pressure. That's the main thing. And if it's working, I might leave it on there and then later on get another one and then tear it all back apart again. But, you know, I just, all this shit's got to come off. So there you have it. Peace. Nanny, nanny. Shout about and all that other good shit. Let's go look. <clears throat>